Now I think I will also show you how to do the uh, this question with uh, substitution method. Earlier we did the elimination. Okay. Now this is uh, with substitution. So number ten, another way to do it. You still set set up the same equations. Okay. And then we still have the same two equations. X plus Y is equal to thirty. And then zero point two five X plus zero point forty Y is equal to uh, 0 0.30 times 30, which is 9. So here, uh, let's do this by substitute, uh, substitute, by substitution <laughs> instead of elimination. As usual, on the second equation, we have decimals. So let's multiply everything by 100. And when you do 100 times this, you get 25x. 100 times uh, 0 0.40y, you get 40y. 100 times 9, that's equal to 900. And then on the top, as we can see, we have x plus y is equal to 30. If you want to do substitu uh, substitution, you want to do sub, sub method, okay? <laughs> um, you just need to isolate one of the variables, and they are actually equally easy. So it doesn't matter which one that you isolate. So maybe uh, I can subtract y on both sides. So on the first equation, I will get x by itself. x is equal to these two cancels. And that's x is equal to negative y plus 30. Okay, I just subtract y on both sides for the first equation. And now we know that x is equal to negative y plus 30. So we can take this, and then we can plug it into the second equation for x. And so instead of 25x, we can write this as 25, and then with a parenthesis, the x becomes this, negative y plus 30. Negative y plus 30. And then we still have the rest, plus 40y, that's equal to 900. And then, as usual, now once we do the substitution, this is just a usual uh, equation. Distribute the 25 into the, into the inside. We get negative 25y, 25 times 30. That should be plus 750. And that's it for the, for the parentheses. Then we have the plus 40y equals to 900. Combine like terms on the left hand side, I see the negative 25y and the 40y. That will be 15y and then bring down plus 750. That's equal to 900. So for this step, I just combine like terms. And now, 15y plus 750 is equal to 900. I'm going to work with the number. Minus 750 on both sides. So these two cancels and I get 15y equals to 150. And then 15 times y is equal to 150. I'm going to divide both sides by 15. Then I will get x is equal to a nice number 10. Nice number 10. So now we know uh, y is equal to 10. And then you are going to look back to the equations that we have. Which one do you want to use? We know y is equal to 10. I'm actually going to just use this one, where x is equal to negative y plus 30. I'm just going to plug in, uh, plug in 10 into y right here. Use, uh, use, let me put this down. Use x is equal to negative y plus 30. So I will get x is equal to negative, I see the y, and then put parentheses, put 10 inside, and then plus 30. Negative 10 plus 30 is 20. Here we go, x is equal to 20. And you also just write out the, um, the same thing for the, for the answer. Don't just box, do not just box x and y. Don't just tell me that x is equal to 20, y is equal to 10. That's not clear. Because we are working with a story question, we have to make sure that we answer the, um, the questions correctly. Like we have to make sure that like, um, 20, 20 is like what? 20 liters for, for what? That kind of thing. 
and take a look of the picture. X is the number of liters for the 25% solution, and then Y is the number of liters for the 40% solution. That's what you need to write down. Um, so the, the X doesn't matter, but I need to say we need to have 20 liters of uh, the 25% solution, and then Y for 10. 10 liters of the 40% solution. Technically you should have said the HCI solution, but I don't really matter I, I don't really care about the HCI. Uh, if you want HCI solution, HCI solution. The HCI doesn't really matter, but this is how it works. This is how you do this kind of questions with substitution.